Hi there. On today's DaVinci Quick Tip, I'm going to show you how to do this cool video inside of text effect. So let's get started. Okay, so here we are in DaVinci Resolve. We're just on the timeline. So I've brought in a little bit of uh, footage. Just so I've just brought in a little bit of stock footage from Texas.com. And I've deleted the audio track from it because we don't need that. So now we're going to uh, grab our text and in this case it's going to go on the bottom and we're just going to temporarily disable the video track above it so that we can see our text and we're just going to extend this out to uh, 10 seconds should be good close to it okay and we're just going to type some text in here and we're going to do it all in caps because that works a lot better for this effect and we're going to put it on two lines and then we're going to select a, a font that works good for this so you want a big thick heavy font my personal preference is impact and that should be a font that everyone has and we'll select bold and now we're going to select just sorry about the noise out there folks so now we're going to select just the word text on the bottom and we're going to increase that size so it's about the same width and it will deselect everything in there and then we're going to change our line spacing so we're going to tighten this right up and then we're going to expand our size and let's actually tighten this up a little more we'll just make it a little bigger there okay let's make it 590 right on the right on the nose okay so now that we've got that set we're going to need to go into uh, our text now of course we've still got it selected so we're going to go up here switch to the settings tab and I'm going to scroll down and if we want to get rid of some of this extra stuff you can just click on it it'll tighten it up so now we're going to pop our our list down oops we accidentally hit a button <laughs> fix that okay so we're going to scroll down our list and we're going to choose alpha and on our video now I've already set this because I was playing around with it but we're gonna go oh and, okay back to our composite and we go down the list and this time we'll choose foreground now we can re-enable our track and you'll see we got our video playing in the text okay so now we're going to make this a little fancier so we're going to we're going to actually pull this away from the beginning a little bit. We're going to grab this handle on the video and we're going to set it to fade in a little bit. Actually, no, we're not going to do that. We've got to do this differently when we're using these sets of features or that'll kind of get ignored. So we'll get back to that in a second. So we're just going to keep it back from, let's move it back to the beginning and then we're going to if you notice those little numbers that are scrolling there they're showing us how far we've pulled it up so we're going to move it so that it's one second okay 
So now we're going to go to the very end. And we've got to back up one frame here. Make sure our text is selected. And then we're going to set keyframe on the zoom and position. And we're going to go back to the beginning, select it again. We're going to do the same thing, set the same keyframes. And then this little arrow at the end, we can just hit that and it'll take us back to the one on the end. And now we're going to zoom in. Oh, <laughs> see, it's easy to make this mistake. Let's get just reverse that. So you have to make sure that you've got text selected here. Okay, so we're going to zoom in on our settings. And once we get in a ways, we're, we're going to reposition here. We're actually going to use the bottom of this letter E as our zoom point. So let's zoom this a little more. And it's a little bit fiddly. You got to keep adjusting. And we just need to expand this until basically the whole video is uncovered. And we'll just move this a little bit to the right here. I think we can actually shrink this back down a bit. I'll just fast forward past my fiddling here. You'll have to do this for yourself. Okay, so there we got it set pretty good. So now if we go back to the beginning, and we'll just play that. See how that zooms us into the full video. Okay, so we're just gonna tidy this up a little bit. And we're going to go to our effects, or sorry, we're going to go to generators and we're going to grab a solid color and we're going to bring that up on top here and put that right to the beginning and we're going to shorten this down. We're going to grab this handle on the right and we'll let that fade out so that should give us this effect nope and we've got to overlap it so that that handle comes after And so you can just fiddle with this a little bit back and forth until you get it. So you get the fade coming in at just the right time. Or if that's not the way you want to do it, we just don't have to use that. And we can slide this back to the beginning. Let's hit turn on our snap. And we can just start the video right there. And you can basically do this in reverse if you're at the end of a video and you want text to, to slowly come in and then fade out, you can basically do this process in reverse. So it's not a real fancy effect, but it's pretty effective. A lot of people like it. And it's pretty easy to do in Resolve 17.2. So that's it for this one, folks. Glad you hung out with us today.
and I'll hope to see you on the next one. Bye for now.